Okay, so let's take a look at this little dude right here. He's a little bell with eyes. He's got that little white spot too. So let's let's do that. All right. So we're gonna start with a. Uh, we're gonna start with a cylinder. I'm just gonna dredge the his diameter, rotate about ninety. I'm gonna shift duplicate this guy out. I'm gonna make it an instance. And then I'm just gonna hit Alt X, F4, and uh, let's uh, let move this out of the way. So we can actually look at what I'm doing. Hopefully, you guys can see. Me. So. The reason I made this guy an instance is you'll, you'll see here in a second. So now when I start to uh, make any changes, it's affected on the other side. All right, so I'm just going to rotate this guy like so. Move this guy down like so. And then I'm just going to throw an edit poly modifier on this guy. Select the top. So got that selected. I don't know why it's got cap segments. I don't want any cap segments. So now I'm going to select this guy at the top. And uh, let's do a bevel. Bring this guy in. Select this guy. So I'm just going to just try to match this silhouette R. And as you can see, I can see the outcomes of that guy right there. So I just want to kind of, that's what I'm trying to do is just kind of match that silhouette. And then select this bottom. Right click and then um, let's extrude this guy again like that, just like that, and then I'm just going to select this guy and then I'm going to bevel. If I select this guy, it changes the bevel profile so I can bevel it uh, as. Uh, a group normal, so I can group those normals and bevel them. I can group them and bevel them uh, using their local normals, or I can bevel the individual polygons that I've had selected. But I just want to do a local so that it bevels them evenly around so that I get that bell shape that I'm looking for. So I'm just going to hit check like that. Bevel again. Like that. I just want to make sure I have it like close to where it's uh, supposed to be. And now I can then select these two tops and I can just chamfer them like so. I'm going to do two, three, four. So now we've got our bell. Right. 
So then, you know, as you know, he's obviously has to have. Uh, let's actually hit F. So this guy. And then I'm going to extrude, bring this guy in like so, hit check, and then bevel this guy like so, bring him down, bevel again, bring this guy down. And then I can select this inside one and then just chamfer. No, actually, I'm going to leave it that way. And you guys will see why. Because I think it, whenever I turbo smooth it, it'll the interpolation will all be there. But let's see, I might want to maybe make this guy just a little chunkier to make him look a little bit happier. Right? Like the rounder he is, the, the happier he kind of looks. I don't remember if these guys are good guys in Mario, I don't remember. Ah, that's not right. uh, let's see, so that's what, that's what he kind of looks like. Alright, so the next thing we want to make is, uh, no, we want to make the bell and his eyes. Let's do that. So the bell is just going to be a sphere, a spherical. So as you can see, there's a bell on the inside of him. So I'm just going to hit F, just create a sphere right here. Kind of matches that guy. And I'm going to reduce the poly count. Just, just like 12. And rotate it 90. And then let's turn on the turbo smooth so you guys see what I'm talking about right here. Alright, so one thing I feel like I'm missing here is I feel like it's missing this sharpness right here. So let's hide this guy right here. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's a little sharper in there. So I'm just going to go in and... Um, I'm going to select this guy right here. I'm going to chamfer it. Chamfer it just a little bit. I think four is way too much. Let's do Let me turn this on and see what I like. Yeah, I think two is enough. So now the problem we're having is we've still got a capped hole at the bottom and we don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extrude this guy in like so. So now we've got a nice little hole for our bell to sit in. Hit the check mark, hit inset, and I'm going to inset, oh, oh, right click inset I'm going to inset this guy so that's going to inset this so I, it gives me a nice little nice little geo right there then I'm going to hit alt y and then I'm going to throw an edge loop in there throw an edge loop right here so now when I turbo smooth it boop, I've got that hole it looks good all right, all right, all right, moving along to the eyes, the very, very soulful, cute eyes of our bell. Right, I might want to add uh, an edge loop in, inside of here. So if I hit Alt Y, watch this, like that.
Sweet, we manage. Alright, so I'm just gonna inset this guy. Turbo smooth. So we're we getting All right. So now I'm going to detach these guys as a clone and to the element. So now I've got these. What that does is it just makes me a copy of these guys that I'm going to use to make the eyes. All right. So for these guys, now all I'm going to all I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit extrude on those. Click extrude and then extrude outward like that. Let's see what happens when we turbo smooth. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to turn off my uh, my turbo smooth and I'm going to convert this guy to an editable poly. And the reason I want to do that is so I can start using my modeling materials, so I can start uh, selecting them and, and, and using them to. To really start to shape the model. Alright, so now I'm in my material editor and I'm gonna I've already made some I think some yellow gold looking stuff, so I think that would kind of work already for it. And then I think I should have already a black I already made. If you guys have been following along, you guys should have your own uh, modeling materials, and then I'm gonna select these inside guys and um, Add this black to them for the eyes, just like that. And then now, if we tur tur throw a turbo smooth on it, all right. The next thing I want to kind of create is this little white thing in their eye, the little thing that makes them look really, really adorable. That little white, it's not complete without that little white in their eye. So uh, let's, let's throw um, a white color on that bell piece. And this part looks like it's got like a harder kind of edge bevel kind of thing to it. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to add like one poly right there and see what it does. It kind of feels like it's it's got a bevel up there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this guy like this guy and then just shift drag these guys out actually cancel that control Z I'm actually going to do the same thing I did which is try to detach a copy of them so I'm going to detach as a clone and as a part of the element so it's going to detach a copy and then I'm going to hit R and then I'm going to scale it in a little bit like that. 
scale a little bit in and then I am going to extrude these guys not that far Point, point 0.2 yeah point 0.2 is way too much point oh one. yeah it's probably better so this is going to grow this and then I'm going to throw that same white material on there and now if we so now I just got to get the placement of them right so for this guy, I can uh, just move it on the normal. Nope. Then I'm just gonna move. Instead of the view, I'm gonna move it locally. So I'm gonna move it up. Move this guy locally right here. And if you look at him, like it's like right there. And I'm gonna do the same for this guy. So it looks super cutesy. And turbo smooth. Let's do two. I'm going to just pull them back in. I'm just going to grab the backs of these guys and just pull them in. Pull this guy in like so. Pull the back of this guy in like so. Turn on this uh, so I can see how it's reacting in there. And then I can just select this guy and pull him in like so. Select this guy. And so the next thing we need to make is this little umbrella that we can then use for the other little assets. All right. So now we've got our little bell dude made. Let's, uh, let's work on this umbrella. So this guy would be just pretty much, uh, let's see, I think a sphere would actually work. I think a sphere would actually be appropriate this time for making this. So let's hit F4 just so I can show you why I think so. Because it already kind of starts off starts us off with the geometry we need to to really get that guy going. So it's already kind of built like an umbrella. We just need to inflate those or extrude those inside uh, inside edges. So yeah, I think I like 
this we just need to make sure we have the right number so this guy is about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven did that come right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so it's ten so it's ten sides five white five blue ten sides five white five blue now let's make our radius bigger so it's what it looks like oh, not 200 because if I did 20 that would give me two sides to work with on each one Okay, I think I'm going to do 20. If I don't like it, I'll come back to it. All right, so now let us uh, add an edit poly modifier to it. See if I like what it's going to do for me. All right, delete the bottom. And uh, let's see. I'm going to select this guy. And then this guy. Actually, all right. So, what I'm going to do is control I. I'm going to delete everything else and I'm going to select this bottom piece. Just give myself a little bit of that action right there. All right. And then I'm going to actually select those, select that guy like so and then I'm going to add a push modifier to it and see if it's going to do what I want it to do because I want to just push those polygons out those vertices out now you press the key push okay, so yep just like that so I want to push them out so I'm getting that that um umbrella bow so now if I Throw a turbo smooth on it. Nope, not trying to mesh. Turbo smooth. Turbo smooth, I'm getting kind of like that cabana vibe. All right, so uh, the next thing we want to do is now that we've got our um, our base shape, we're going to want to uh, rearrange them back into the umbrella. All right, so the easiest way to do that is to uh, make them uh, an array. So we'll go into our tools, and then we're going to go into our array. All right, and this is a very cool tool because now we know how many sides we need. Uh, so I need 10 and let's see, let's hit a preview. And we need them to rotate in about Thirty six degrees. All right. 
So now, just like that, we've made the umbrella. We needed a count of 10. It's already made everything for us. We did it one time. And I'm just going to hit OK. Select all these guys, right click them, convert to editable poly. Select one. Then I'm just going to, I'm going to go, uh, I can click attach and start clicking and attaching. Or I can click attach list. It's going to pull up a list of everything that I have open. I can just shift, attach those. Okay, yeah, just like that. But. Okay, okay, okay. The moment I attach that guy, it brings back up everything else. All right, so now I've got everything, but they're still they're still separate. They're all still separate entities. So now I need to select all of them, and then just right click and weld. It's going to go from 160 to 101. That is okay. And now if we hit the turbo smooth on this guy, we should get something that kind of looks like that. All right. So one thing we can do is to make these edges more pronounced is we can select this guy in our freeform uh, modeling tools. Let me drop these down so I can show you guys. Uh, I want to ring every other one so I can hit this thing called dot ring and it's going to I can choose the amount of steps I want in between my rings, so it's going to select every other one, which is a pretty cool feature. So I don't have to select every other one. Go extrude on there. So now it's going to look more like that umbrella we're used to seeing. So now we've got our umbrella. I'm going to select every other one. These five, so control select that. Will be white, so I'm going to go M, turn these white, and then these other guys. So if I hit control and I, now let's unhide all, so I can select the blue. So I can select this blue, it's going to pick, bring up my color picker. I can select my color picker and pick this blue, hit OK. And now I can assign that blue to the other side. And if we hit Turbo Smooth F3, so now we've got our umbrella. Just like that. So the only thing we're missing is the little rope that connects the umbrella. And with that, I'm going to make it out of a line. So I'm just going to select all these guys. I'm just going to bring this guy down like so. Let's make a shift copy of this guy. Make it a instance, that's fine. Just going to move this guy like right here. So 
so we alt Q to isolate this guy. And I've got some weird stuff going there. So all we need is the line. Let's just select a line like so. Like that. And then all we have to do is enable it in the renderer and in the viewport, like so. Reduce the thickness down quite a bit. Let's see, I'm on the keyboard, and I can move it wherever I want it. If I want it closer in there, I can. If I want it down here, I can have it like so. I'm going to make this line white. Thought I made the line white, I made the vert white. So let's just make it a white line. And then we can just mirror this guy on the x axis. Hit F on the keyboard. Actually, hit the mirror. Make it an instance. Hit OK. And move this bad boy over. And then I would add a line at this bottom piece right here to the bell, because you know this, uh, the bell probably has some sort of like rope pulling it. So I would add a line like right here to this spot right there. And that's it. And then I can align it. I can, no, uh, Align it to this, make it in the center, and then now I can just pull it down. Make sure that it's in the center of this guy, and then that goes. So I feel like this bell. Let's pull this rope. Right just like that. And the reason I make these out of lines is because. Just in case I ever need to animate one of them or something, I can, you know, pull that ver and I've got that um, that ability to kind of animate it on the fly if I need to. So I might make this guy just a little bit thicker since it's like the uh, it's the rope bell kind of thing. So now let's make this like this brown or something. So now if we hit select this guy, pull this guy up a little bit, hit P on the keyboard, and just like that, we've got our little little bell character. Now if I the reason I didn't you know, because if we throw like a turbo smooth on this guy and then that, that guy's good and now we've got ourselves a our cute little uh, cute little character dude. Mm -hmm. Man, let's throw a shell on this. I throw a shell on this guy. Whoa, that's a crazy shell. Let's make it a little interior. Let's see what that does for it. It's going to give it a little bit of thickness. Let's do two.
Oh, that's what's happening. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. Take a look at these. I think it's because of this guy right here. That's not bad. Mm, okay. So control select that, and I should select those. And now I can make a loop. Alright, that's what I was looking for. Okay, now we've got our umbrella. The other thing is, I think I would make these guys, just bring these guys a little in so they're not protruding as much. And that's pretty much it. Alright. Now I might throw a shell on this, just so it's not just like a thin plane. Let's look. Let me unhide it. Yeah, I don't think, I don't see a thickness on theirs, but we might want to add a, one to ours. Just to make sure. Just to be a hundred. Hmm. I'm thinking whether I would split them. Oh, this is a this is one of those dilemmas I'm having. But either way, um. I'll let you guys know how I feel about it next class tomorrow. I like it this way. But there's your little little bell character. Let's delete. Now let's do make it a copy. And then we can just pose them. Pose them the same way. Right. Ooh, that's the guy. Alright. Does anybody have any questions? Before I end the class? No? Questions, comments, concerns? No? Alright, if nobody has any questions for me... Oh, um, I guess that's... I mean, that's it for class. Uh, you guys know what you know your tasks are you guys need to I'm gonna upload this guy here in a bit and you guys need to try to knock him out show me where you got to all right tomorrow you have a quiz on the normal map stuff that we went on today went over today so uh, other than that 
good luck go study if you guys don't have any questions for me then you guys are free to get on out of here we got all the little characters all right guys you got a question Eddie no that's it have a good day sir all right you too man